all right guys so good morning I hope everything is well and that you are staying focused on God and making sure that his will is done and not ours so today I want to come in and I want to talk to you guys about you see the title I don't know how well this camera is gonna sit up here for me but there's a lot of controversy about you know the abortion law and us women saying that you know man should not tell us what to do with our bodies and I'm gonna tell you this that is correct that is absolutely correct man should not tell us what to do with our bodies but God has already told us what to do with our bodies and I can speak on this subject because because I have had two abortions it's hard for me to say that out loud and and I want to keep it real in 100 I killed two babies I killed two babies that God tried to bless me with because I was so young and because I can't say I didn't know any better because I was raised in the church so I knew better I just was defiant against him for one for having intercourse without being married so that was my first act of being defiant and then I turned around and I killed two blessings that he gave me it was no it was no um, forcible it wasn't rape it wasn't any of that it was just me being young and yes I was protecting myself but it didn't work and that just goes to show that when you do stuff that you ain't got no business doing and you are doing it against God's will no matter what you do to try to protect yourself from being harmed or from your consequences being seen to the world God is gonna make it a way where it still it's not gonna work for you and that's what happened and I can see that and I can say that now because I'm back into following the will of God and I'm back into staying focused and staying true to him with all that being said my my purpose for this video is for the women and for the men to understand that we should go back to cherishing our bodies we should go back to no no fornication no adultery no lust none of that should be in our spirit and now I'm I'm wanting us to go back to that okay so you say Regina what about the women that has experienced incest and rape and molestation and they become pregnant what then should should that mother should that see should that mother because God has now ordained you to be a mother and it's not up to you come on father it's not up to you to determine when you should be ordained as a mother that's God's job so if he's ordained you through that terrible act that you are now with child it's wrong to terminate 
that pregnancy. It's wrong to terminate that baby's life. You, you're going to have to pray through it and, and pray the prayer of having a forgiving heart and having the loving heart that God knows that you have and give that love to that child because you don't know what God has planned for that child. You don't know and it's not, it's not your place, it's not our place as women to, to say, okay, I don't want this baby, I'm not having this baby, and I'm going to kill it. That's not our decision. God has already written our lives. We say that, but do you really stop and think and understand what that really means? Good or bad, God has already made the path of your walkway of life. He's already done that. And you cannot, and you cannot, and should not try to undo that. That's not your place to do that. It's not my place. It wasn't my place to do that. And let me tell you something. I'm going to show you just how God fixed things that you try to change or so-called rectify. So I had my abortions, right? I killed my two babies. Years ago. Years and years and years ago. And those of you that are subscribed to my channel, you already see. Look, 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 look. Let me, let me show you something. Those two boys, my two grandsons that I'm raising, let me show you something. The two babies that I killed were boys. And I'm raising my two grandsons. How powerful is that? How powerful is that? So in a roundabout way, <laughs> he used my daughter to bear the children that I killed. He did that. Nobody can tell me anything different because I know better. I know better. And I want my story that I'm telling you to touch you in some type of way and, and have us to fall back in love with God. Fall back in love with doing the right thing. Fall back in love to want to walk this life in a righteous way. Fall back in love with loving your brother and your sister. Fall back in love with being human. Fall back in love with having morals and values and standing up for what's right and reading your word and trying to steer away from sin as much as you can. Fall back in love with God. Because once you do and you and you recommit yourself to him, he will make all things to the better, to the good for you. He will do that. I'm a living witness that he will do that. We have to stop trying to take parts of the Bible and use them so that we can do whatever we want to do. Stop taking the meanings 
and 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 the words and and making those meanings something that is it's not. We have to do the right thing. We have to go back to the word. The answer is in the word. Your 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 eternal life is in the word. And I'm speaking to myself too. We are not without sin. None of us. You saved, yes. But you are still a flesh. And it's a daily, it's a daily walk. It's a daily, it's like you go to work. You go to work, it don't cut off at five o'clock. Your spirituality should not cut off at five o'clock. It's a 24 hour commitment. 366 days a year. 365 if we ain't got leap year. But you gotta do the work. And if you hurt as a woman, if you've been hurt as a man, it's up to you to do the work so that you can be the person that God has already cut out for you to be. If you are struggling, if you feeling lost, if you feeling ashamed about things that happened to you in your past, clean that stuff up. Do the work. Do what you need to do to get it right. Speak it. Say it out loud. He said, confess your sins. And that's what I'm doing in this video. I'm confessing my sins that I did. You have to, you have to do it. As painful as it is, this is not easy for me to do, to come on camera and to tell you, you know, we lived in a time before where you, whatever you did, you keep it to yourself. Well, we're in a society now where everything is on the internet. And if that's the world that we're living in, and if God wants me to use this platform to touch somebody out there, then I will make myself that sacrifice. I will do it. But I know I have to know that when I go meet God, I want him to say, yes, my child, you've done well. Come in. Come in. And if that means that I have to put my dirty laundry out here on the internet, then that's just what I gotta do. Because it takes one to save one. And then that one can go save many. But we gotta start somewhere. And I'm willing to, to be the one to start it. In the end, what I'm saying in this video I agree with the abortion law. It's a step in the right direction to get us back to the Bible days. We have to get back to God. It's too much going on that has taken us away from the fundamentals of, of the Bible. Take Christianity out of it. Take Baptist out of it. Take uh, whatever Muslim. Take Catholic out of it. Just know that you trying to make it to heaven. And whatever it takes for you to get to heaven, then that's what you need to be doing. That's all I got to say about the subject. I hope that this reaches the right person that may be dealing with some things and dealing with 
demons that's telling you, be quiet. Don't say what you did. Don't talk about that sin. Don't talk about the fact that you fornicating. Don't talk about the fact that you in a relationship with a married man or a married woman. Don't talk about it. If you don't talk about it, it don't exist. It does exist. And it's up to you to be brave enough to speak it. You have to speak your truth in order to be healed, in order to be pure, in order to be able to receive the goodness of God that he has for you. You have to speak it. Don't stand there and be silent. Why well, write it down in the journal? Okay, fine and good. You write it down in the journal. But God said you're supposed to confess your sins. And the society we living in is the internet. You got to stop. You got to stop. We got to pray for people that is in the LBGT community. Don't hate them because then you hate yourself because you a sinner too. Don't hate the person that's having marital relations with a, a marital uh, with a married person that's not their spouse because you hating you too. Nobody has the right to point the finger at nobody. So I'm going to go ahead and close this video out. I need you to stay prayed up. Stay focused. Stay strong. Admit what you need to admit so you can become a whole person. So that you can see the goodness of the glory of God because he's so wonderful and he's so wonderful to be praised I say hallelujah you guys have a great day be blessed be positive be uplifting to somebody if you see somebody that needs to be to be given a hug or they look down, do something to make them happy. Do something to put a smile on their face. Compliment somebody. Tell them God loves them. You don't know where that might make take them to. Have a smile on your face. Because happiness is contagious. And you want to spread as much happiness as you can in this world that we're living in today. Alright, Fancy Beauties and Bows. I will see you all in the next video. I love you. Always know that. Know that I love you with everything in my being. Know that I pray for you and your happiness. And thank you for just sticking with me. <laughs> I'll disappear and y'all still be right here for you, girl. I sure appreciate it. All right, let me get off of here. I love you guys so much. Have a great day.